Check out FlipSideGaming.com for all your gaming needs. Use the promo code HEROES to save 10% on all orders over $10. Hey there, this is John from Heroes and Legends, and today we're going to open a booster box of Throne of Eldraine. This is the first full box we've opened on the channel. We opened a bundle pack not too long ago, but today we got a whole booster box. I'm going to go kind of quickly, or as quick as I can through this, and let you see at least a glimpse of the uncommons and the rares. Probably not spend too much time on the commons. And without any further ado, let's get cracking here. I'm excited to see what we get. I have not opened a box, like I said, so I don't have a real feel like how many showcase cards you're going to find in a booster box or like how easy or hard it is to pull some of those like borderless cards. Obviously, no extended art cards in these particular products, only in the collector boosters, but there are some cool hits regardless. Embreath Shieldbreaker, Into the Story, Arcanist's Owl. Our first rare is Feasting Troll King. There was a deck revolving around that. We'll have to kind of see if it can do much. It, it kind of fell off, like, really early into week one. So I don't really have high hopes for it. But at the time of recording, we are moving into the possibility of some things being banned. So who knows? I guess the standard format could be wide open. Rally for the Throne. Shine Chaser. Slaying Fire. That's a good card. And another good, good one. Black Lance Paragon is our rare. We get a Foil Island. All right. So far, so good. We'll keep going. So let me know in the comments below how things have been going with your pulls so far. Or with your gameplay, as far as this new set goes, limited or otherwise. Spinning Wheel. Wander Mare. Her Heraldic Banner. Oh, nice, and our rare is Emery Lurker of the Lock. Very good card, seeing modern play already, obviously. And we get another foil. This is Spinning Wheel. Nice. It looks actually pretty cool. All right, we'll continue on. So, yeah, Emery's a nice pull. I'm very excited to get that, actually. A card that maybe at some point I can use. More so probably for Commander. I don't really play modern. Not anymore, anyway. Shumbling Suit, Mystical Dispute, another card that's seeing a lot of play in modern. Little Legacy, too. Sir Farron, the Hedge Hammer, and our rare is Gadwick, the wi the Wizened, and our foil is Bloodhaze Wolverine. A lot of foils now. They have up the amount of foils you get. They did that, of course, at 2020, so we're definitely seeing that here. All right. Skip all this stuff. Clockwork Servant, Revenge of Ravens, Beanstalk Giant, Excellent Uncommon. And our rare is another good one. This is a mythic, actually. Rankle, Master of Pranks, seeing plenty of standard play right now. And another foil, Rampant Smasher. If we got a foil in every pack, or almost every pack, it seems. Not going to complain about that. Okay. I'm trying to think. I mean, of course, Oko is the big hit, right? Like, kind of would like to get one of those, but we'll see. <laughs> Enchanted Carriage, Bog Naughty. Venerable Knight, our rare, is Escape to the Wilds. All right. But yeah, this Monday is going to be the Band and Restricted List update. I'm going to try to post this tomorrow. I'm, I'm recording it on, on Wednesday, but hopefully put it out on Thursday unless something weird happens. If not, maybe you're going to see this later. I don't know. But like I said, everything's going to be wide open if they do ban Field of the Dead or something like that. Claim of the Firstborn, or Claim the Firstborn. Okay, Ranger. Savvy Hunter, our rare is, oh, nice, Fervent Champion. There you go. Heavy R. Dominguez is a World Championship card. Nice. So, haven't seen any showcase cards yet. I'm kind of going quickly through the commons. Maybe I've got to pay a little closer attention. Maybe I missed one, but I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if maybe they show up at the end of the pack regardless. I don't know. I just haven't seen one yet. Resolute Rider, Bognati, Venerable Knight, Charming Prince is our rare. Another good card. Seeing play in humans, actually, in modern right now. And I think that could stick. It feels like it's a good fit for that card. You would think a showcase card would kind of stand out, but... Okay, Steel, Steel Claw Lance. Epic, Epic Downfall, good uncommon. Grum Gully, the Generous. And Castle Embereth, very good card right now for aggressive builds. I was thinking of trying that out in Arena, so I don't know. I'm really apprehensive about cashing in wild cards right before something could happen when it comes to ban and restricted, so 
I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll just wait another week and decide what I want to do. Tournament grounds. Drown in the lock. Burning Yard trainer. Our rare is Ayara. A-R- Ayara first of Lock Thwain. Nice. That's a pretty sweet card, too, actually. Seeing a little commander play. I have noticed that. Okay, our first uncommon here is Wandermare. Glass Casket, Heraldic Banner. Our rare is a very good one, Bone Crusher Giant. We've opened a few of these now um, in our last video where we did some openings. And we get a foil rare stolen by the Fae. Foils look pretty nice, actually. So the foiling on this particular set seems pretty vivid. I like that. Oh, there's one. Okay, Flaxen Intruder. Very cool. That's a very sweet one, actually. I love that art. Order of Midnight, Frogify, and our rare is a mythic. It is Garrick Cursed Huntsman. Very nice. I played this in Limited. It was a bomb in draft. I had a not great deck. Like, my draft didn't go well, but whenever I got this out, I just won. So, <laughs> I guess that was the key. When I didn't get it out, I did not win, though. That was the problem with that deck. I did play one draft that went 7-2. and two. And I had, um, I was playing the Is It Second Draw Matters deck. That seemed really good if that can fall in place for you in a draft. So, all right, Giant Opportunity, Trail of Crumbs, Righteousness. Our rare is Opportunistic Dragon. And another rare, that, or another foil, this is Moonlit Scavengers. Okay, I think we're about a third in now. Might go a little faster. So, so far we've seen one showcase card. I'm just curious as to the how often you're going to see them, I guess. I mean, many of you have opened more packs than I have. I'm sure you might know. Flaxen Intruder, Order of Midnight, Frogify, and Fae of Wishes is our rare. Goes for Borderless Planeswalkers, too. I'd like to know how often they show up. The cards are falling over here. Hang on, I'm going to move these. Because I do keep them intact as well. Keep the packs intact, because I like to play limited with them. Alright, here we go. Inquisitive Puppet, Savvy Hunter, Sir Farron the Hedgehammer again, and a Murderous Rider. Very good card. You know that's always going to see play. Like, that's a safe opening, right? <laughs> like, good rare to have. Good rare to have a play set of. All right, Animating Fairy, Inquisitive Puppet, Sir Conrad the Grim, and Piper of the Swarm. Nice. That's the bundle promo as well with alternate art. Elite Headhunter, Arcanist Owl, Trail of Crumbs. And Yorvo, Land, Lord of Garenbrig. That's actually a sweet card. Definitely cool for, like, green stompy builds right now in Standard. Also, um, might be fun to try to do something with in a mono green deck and, like, Commander or Brawl. Probably more likely Brawl. All right. We have Rally for the Throne, Animating Fairy, Into the Story, and Sorcerer Spyglass. Okay. There you go. One of the reprints that stuck around Standard. It is a rare. Feels a little underwhelming when you open that. If you, at least if you have copies from the previous sets, I don't know if I, I might not actually. I don't know what I have. Just what I opened on the channel. Foulmire Knight, Overwhelmed Apprentice, Righteousness, and the Magic Mirror. So is this our third mythic? Third mythic. We had Garrick, and we also got Wrinkle. So not bad. We got a lot of packs to open. We got three mythics already. So can't complain about that. I'll take it. I would be curious to know. How your limited games have been going. Sealed or draft. Um, Steel Claw Lance. Revenge of Ravens. Lock Dragon. Oh, nice. Fourth Mythic is Ogo Thief of Crowns. Exactly what I wanted to pull. <laughs> so that's pretty sweet. The big money card of the set right now anyway. So I will take it. So that's two Planeswalkers. We just haven't seen the Royal Scions. Yeah, pretty good box. I'm happy with it. And so far, only one showcase card unless I skipped one. So I guess maybe that's normal. All right, Resolute Rider, Turn Into a Pumpkin, Mysterious Pathlight, 
later, and stolen by the Fae. Not foil this time. We hit a foil rare, too, already, as well. So anyway, yeah, let me know how your games have been going, like what strategies have been working for you. What I was thinking of doing, and let me know if you're interested in this. I was thinking of maybe doing a stream at some point, just streaming on YouTube, playing some games, maybe doing sealed or a draft, and then, you know, just chatting and hanging out for a little bit. Clockwork Servant, Mad Ratter, Archon of Absolution. Our rare is Dance of the Mance. Very nice. And our foil is Shining Armor. And it's sh Look at that. Shiny, shiny armor. Okay, so. Yeah, let me know if you'd be interested in that. Um, I think it might be kind of fun to do. I don't know how often I'd be able to do it, but even if it was just every so, so often. Um, Merrileaf Pixie, turn into a pumpkin. Mysterious Pathlighter and Hushbringer. Sing a little sideboard play, sometimes in Modern Burn here and there. Alright, Lucky Clover. This is seeing some standard play. Sir Conrad the Grim. Slaying Fire. Oh, there we go. Bone Crusher Giant. I am just... Bone Crusher Giants are just drawn to me. This is the fourth one we've opened. And we only opened the bundle and a couple extra packs in that video. And we also opened two collector boosters. So I got one of these in a collector booster. And I think I got like a foil in the in the in the bundle. Now we got two more. So <laughs> there you go. So that one's a rare showcase card. We got an uncommon and a rare. I don't know if I missed a common. I am kind of flipping through them, but I think it would catch my eye, right? I mean it's pretty unique looking. Alright. Keeper of Fables. Skullknocker Ogre, Lock Dragon, Castle Garen Brig, very good card. And Bog Naughty, a foil. Alright. As I hit the camera there. I think we're down to... Actually, we're getting kind of low now. But even if this box just dried up now, four Mythics, two Planeswalkers, one of them Oko, Sir Kara the Bold, Deafening Silence, good card, Improbable Alliance. I had two of these in that draft deck I was talking about. They're excellent there. And Sundering Stroke is the rare. Giant Skewers is our mythic. Nice. Okay. How many packs are left? I think it's nine. Maybe. Oh, maybe a little more. Hang on. Three. Six. Oh, just nine. Okay. Nine packs left. But like I said, I, I'm happy with this box regardless of what happens with these last nine packs. These have been pretty sweet. Okay, we got Elite, Headhunter, Cauldron Familiar, Sir Eleanor, the Discerning, our rare. Nice one is Torbrand, Torbran, Thane of Redfell. And we get another foil rare. This is our second one in the box, Linden, the Steadfast Queen. That's pretty sweet. So, second foil rare. Uh, this one, Torbrand, definitely I kind of wanted to play around with. Another card that could be good in mono red, aggro, perhaps. Maybe a good brawl deck, too. Good brawl commander, perhaps. Okay, Sir Kara the Bold again, Fireborn Knight again, or, I don't know, have we seen one of those? Maybe not. Archon of Absolution, and Worthy Knight is our rare. That's a pretty sweet one, too, actually. I kind of like that card. The Knight decks haven't done much, but like I said, who knows what could happen in another week or so. Things could totally change if they do ban something, which seems pretty likely. All right, Skullknocker Ogre, Sage of the Falls, Sir... Alan, the Lion's Claw, and Gilded Goose. Nice rare. Very, very nice rare to pull. Awesome. There's some powerful cards in the set. Like, not necessarily quantity-wise. Like, you don't go through and be like, wow, every card's powerful. Like, I kind of felt that way in War of the Spark. Or even the core set 2020 to some degree. But here, it's like, when you hit a card that's powerful, it's powerful. <laughs> okay. Here's a, here's an uncommon. Hypnotic Sprite. Edge, uh, Edgewall Innkeeper. Improbable Alliance, and Castle Vantress. Another good one to have. Those lands are all excellent, actually. Getting down to the end now. Hey, if you've never watched the channel before, check it out. We put out a lot of content. Once in Future, Sir Eleanor the Discerning. Eleanora, yeah, Eleanor. Um, Matt Rat Mad Ratter, and Faye Burrow Elder is our rare. Um... A lot of times we'll do updates on tournament results. We'll look at deck lists. We do our market watch every Saturday. I do a lot of bonus market watch videos too, where we talk about cards that are going up in prices. More like cards are going up and down in prices. So why is really kind of the point of those videos. 
Because a lot of people don't know. They see a card going up. Why is this going up? Is it a buyout or is there a reason for it? That's what we talk about. Marley Pixie, Spinning Wheel, Inspiring Veteran, and Clark Bridge Troll is our rare. Nice. Last four packs as I hit the camera again. Um, <laughs> a lot of pack opening videos where I hit the camera. You'll see that on the channel. Um, oh, no. <laughs> Ironically, it's Sorcerer's Broom just got away from me there. Um, Sage of the Falls, Sarah Allen, the Lion's Claw again. Oh, we got a foil card coming up here. A uh, folio, fancies are rare. And then we, oh, that's really nice. It's a common. I didn't think we were supposed to get foil commons in the booster packs, right? In the regular draft packs. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm not going to complain. Uh, it's a foil merchant of the Val, which is a great card. Seeing play in Modern Dredge right now. That's actually really cool. <laughs> I'll take that any day. Yeah, I thought I thought on I thought common foils didn't show up. I don't know. Maybe I'm confused. All right, Falmire Knight, Deathless Knight, Edgewall Edgewall Innkeeper, and Robber of the Rich is a another good mythic. Um, it's a good card. It's kind of had a hard time in this early meta because aggro hasn't done well. Again, that could change. Um, but it is a sweet card. And I do think it will see play at some point. The Monorad aggro decks, though, that have done well, haven't used it, though, which is interesting. Uh, Spectre, Shriek, Drown in the Lock, Cauldron Familiar, a rare Castle Lock Flame. All right, this is it. It's the last pack. So before I go, just a reminder, if you check out FlipSideGaming.com, you can use the Heroes promo code on any order over $10 and save 10%. Um, any order over 100 they give free shipping, too. And they do have sealed Throne of Eldrain, collector's boxes, draft boxes like we opened today. They also have a lot of singles still available. So check it out. Maybe you can save yourself some cash with the promo code and also support the channel. Always, always appreciate it when you, when you do that. So thank you. Anyway, Overwhelmed Apprentice. That broom was jumping at me a minute ago. Um, Bell of the Brawl. <laughs> Joust. Oh, I get another foil. Hang on. Uh, Happily Ever After. Kind of a fun card. I like that. And... We get Idyllic Grange as one last foil, too. Nice. All right. Hey, as always, I appreciate you spending time with me. Let me know in the comments below if you would be interested in watching me draft and maybe just chat a little bit and hang out. Like, nothing crazy. I don't play enough to be really sharp, so I probably will screw up a whole lot. But maybe just sitting around and talking would be, would be fun. So, hey, let me know. But until next time, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible through the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page as well as our Amazon affiliate store where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon and have a great day.